Hey guys, from the last video you probably know that I participated in Mix and Game Jam. It was my very first Game Jam and it was very fun. I even got some good scores like 32nd place in Art category and 37th place in Gameplay category. And many nice comments. The theme for this Game Jam was to mix genres, for example Rhythm Shooting Game. Let's see how I did my game. On day one, after the film reveal, I was trying to come up with some idea for about two hours. The only idea I got was a turn-based survival game inspired by Pink River. But I needed something more original, so my idea transformed to a puzzle building game about managing some kind of farm. As soon as I got this idea, I started working on elements and drag and drop mechanics. When I had it working, I wrote a script generating random elements. Then I tried adding plants or whatever I had in mind. I wanted to mix 3D elements with 2D sprites, but it didn't look any good. Even after I replaced temporary sprites with new ones. The last thing I tried was coming back to 3D only and that was looking way better. The next day in the morning, I came up with an idea while messing with colors. Blue background looked like nice water and brown elements like small bridges. That was the birth of a new and better concept. The concept of fishing village. I opened Blender to make a fisherman, just to realize I'm not familiar with Blender. So after the fisherman, I made bridges in Pro Builder, which I got to know when making Stracel. But looking at new models, something was still not right. The perspective. So with the new perspective change, I needed to adapt a drag and drop mechanic, which was completely easy and straightforward. Okay, not exactly, but after a small fix, everything was working smoothly again. Next, I realized additional obstacles would be useful, so I created a rock model. And a rock generator. After that, I had also an idea with algae, but it didn't work out. And it looks like I even forgot how to spell them. It was the time I needed to start working on gameplay mechanics, meaning that you need to receive some penalty for badly placed elements, but receive a reward for well placed elements. At first I created a counter showing us how many days we survived. Then I gave fishermen the ability to catch fish. And later accidentally found a cool looking water which caused couple UI problems and that's why I disabled it later. Not mentioning one bug I fixed, I came back creating a fisherman area and as I mentioned I found out that the water I created causes some annoying UI problem. Next, I made a fish icon, which I then used for presenting caught fish and also eaten fish. Because every fisherman also eats some amount of fish of the end of the day as a payment. Because it was a puzzle game, I wanted to restrict possibilities of placing new elements. So in the first setup, I added rocks that block tiles. And in the second, reducing the whole space, which was putting everything on huge pillar. One of the biggest gameplay mechanics was adding a canteen, which feeds two fish every fisherman in range, which means we can rise every day's income by reducing the number of hidden fish. After canteens, I gave fishermen fishing rods, so they finally look like fishermen. What fisherman would like to catch a golden fish, which is worth two common fish? All of them. And that's the next big gameplay mechanic fishing spots, where fishermen in range can catch mentioned goldfishes. Last thing I added that day was an automatic camera size to always fit everything in view. As it turned out again, it wasn't as easy as I thought and I was quite tired after programming all day. But I knew it was the last fight that day.
the next day I stayed in a bed longer, because I had the core part of the game done. After breakfast I took care of a tutorial, which was very important as the only person knowing the rules of the game was me. The tutorial, game balance and the end screen were the last essential features. Because I still had a lot of time, which was nearly 8 hours, I peacefully fixed water, added a couple of visuals, sounds and recorded a gameplay video. And like that, after 3 days, with about 24 plus hours of programming, I created a small game for my first ever game jam. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye.